Wait, let me see the camera. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Hi. Hi, it's Steph. And spring is only two weeks away. And what better way to kick off a new spring gardening season than with my first ever giveaway? And here's what I'm giving away. This adorable King's Yard birdhouse and three Sarah Bernhardt bare root peonies. Now to win is really easy. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. So if you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I ran some statistics the other day and only about 15% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. It's free to do so. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. The second step is to just like this video. So hit the thumbs up. And the third step is just to leave a comment below. And I'm going to choose four winners, one for the birdhouse and one for each of these bare root peonies in about a week. Here's the peony that I selected, the Sarah Bernhardt. I've had this one in my garden for about seven or eight years and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a really roughly light pink peony that is super fragrant. Now peonies are an heirloom type plant. They last for years and years. This one blooms for me at some point at the end of May, beginning of June, and it's stunning. I always look forward to it. And even when it's done blooming, the foliage is really pretty. So I'm happy to share these with you, my viewers, as a thank you for watching my channel. A couple of weeks ago, we did a video where we walked around the garden and talked about some of the plans we had for this spring. And one of them was replacing a couple of our birdhouses. This one here with the license plate has actually been repaired before and it's fallen apart a couple of times. And I had a couple of you tell me how the metal roof was probably not great for the birds because it'll make the birdhouse too warm. So we're actually gonna take it down and we just received a few new birdhouses. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox those with you. This is the one we took down. Totally disintegrated. There's no repair in this guy. Oh my goodness, look at that. The only thing left is the license plate. Maybe you can keep that in the garage. Which one is it? Which license plate? Grand Canyon State. Arizona? There you go. Yeah. What's going on here? This is the one that I'm going to just repair and put back up. Cleaning it out, yeah. getting it ready for the mama birds. So this one we can we can recycle. Yeah. And all the other ones are okay. Not too bad, yeah. We have probably about five right now. And so the license plate one came down, this one just needs repairing. And we're gonna put up three new ones today. So instead of replacing this whole back, that's uh, probably not worth the time, I'm just gonna drill through the sides and it'll be supported by four screws going through the sides. So that's what I'm going to do. That's it. I'll put it up. I wanted to make sure that there were no screws inside no. that would hurt the birds, but nope, there isn't. They're gonna just going to go straight through the back. Yeah. And that way the sides are being, the back is being held through the screws that are going in right. through the now sides. Now that this is going to be against the tree, the tree. it's not going to blow out anymore. Perfect. Yeah. When I started looking around for birdhouses, I came across this page on Amazon for a company called King's Yard. And they were kind enough to send me out some birdhouses and even a new hummingbird feeder, which I was in need of. So let me show you which ones I selected. Now, all of the ones that I'm gonna show you, I'm actually going to put in the description of the video as well as the pinned comment. So they'll be easy to find. And they come in different colors as well. This one here is called the sunflower and I thought it was adorable. And so this is the one that I'm giving away. There is this little door on the side that has a lever that you can use to open up and clean it out for the season. So these are really well constructed and adorable. So this is the sunflower red. It also comes in blue and green, I believe. And let's check out the others. So this one here is a wooden one also. Let me tell you the name of it in a second. This one is called the patio um, and it's green and royal blue. Now in the package, you will get some information. Um, there is a um, instruction manual that will show you how to install it. And it also gives you some information to the King's Yard website and social um, media pages, as well as some mounting hardware. So this one is a royal blue one. Also has the door on the side that you will open up for cleaning. Let's 
Ah, this one is a green one. And this one is called, let's see, Touch of Nature. And it is the King's Yard Wooden Bluebird House. And this one also has uh, mounting hardware, a door on the side for cleaning. That one's really cute. And here is the other one. This one's really cute as well. This one here is called the King's Yard. It's another bluebird house. It's a little bit different than the other two. And here's this one. It's green and blue, looks like a little cottage with some orange, really pretty. And it also has a door on the side for opening and cleaning. So let me show you the hummingbird feeder too. I was all excited about the birdhouses that I forgot about this cute one as well. Now this one from the website looked absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like glass with painted flowers on it. And there was a couple of color options. There was a teal, a, a royal blue, as well as red. So this one is the teal one. And look how pretty that the painted flowers on here are. And the other thing that I wanted in a bird or a hummingbird feeder was that the ports for the hummingbirds be plastic and soft so that they wouldn't hurt their beaks. The last one that I had had metal uh, ports and not only did they get rusty, I've also been told that the hummingbirds can hurt their beaks on them. So I was happy to find one that had plastic. So this is really pretty and I can't wait to put it up for the season. King's Yard has a variety of bird feeders as well as birdhouses and hummingbird feeders. If you're interested in any of the birdhouses that I showed today or the hummingbird feeder, again, I am going to put the links in the description of the video as well as in the pinned comment. King's Yard has also offered my viewers 10% off with the code HOOKED10. They even have this plexiglass viewing window. So before emptying anything out, you can actually see if you wanna empty it out. But if you do, there's this little latch and you can slide the plexiglass out empty it out and there's this catch tray yeah and you can slide this back in and twist that and close it it's really well made these are really nice here's another one has a predator guard so one year we actually saw the neighborhood cat maverick climbing a tree with his paw inside one of the birdhouses. So I think this is the exact reason why they make these things. Yeah, I think yeah, that's for the cats. For sure. That long screwdriver is coming in handy. Yep, I use my drill to start the screw and then I just wrap it up with this longer screwdriver. Signs of spring everywhere in the garden. The tat -a tat daffodils, they're like miniature daffodils. I have a clump here and I have a couple of clumps in this woodland bed there and there and they're all starting to come up which is really exciting and my hellebores just started blooming so i'll show those to you as well so this is the last birdhouse that we're putting up on this tree here that is on the side of our vegetable garden and um, i looked up the material that these birdhouses are made out of um, because i could tell that they weren't cedar they're actually new zealand pine so in case anyone is curious That's it. Good to go? Yep. Our birdhouse project is checked off the list. I was trying to get you, but you keep oh, running away from me. <laughs> Here in the back of the garden, I have this woodland bed, and um, there's going to be quite a bit of spring cleanup needed because the trees above have dropped all of their leaves, so I'll need to rake this all out and apply some new mulch. But when the hellebores start blooming, you know that spring is on its way. I have this variety here that is called Ivory Prince. And these are just gorgeous. Hellebores actually bloom for a really long time. And this variety has actually self-seeded really well for me. And I have quite a few clumps of this color now. And I have a couple more blooming. The ones that I purchased at Home Depot last year, the gold collection are actually in bloom. So let's go and check those out. These are a gorgeous burgundy. And then they lighten up to a bit of pink as they start to fade. They're stunning and quite a few blooms, but they're still budded. And there is another 
right there. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love these so much. And even their foliage makes a wonderful ground cover. This glossy green foliage. See, so you can see the tag here. These are part of the gold collection hellebore. This beauty is the wedding party series. This is confetti cake. It's a roughly white speckled variety. This one also has a few buds getting ready to open up. This one, I believe is called Rome in red, but it's another red variety. I love these dark moody ones. In the garden, in the spring and summer garden, I really love cool colors like pinks and purples. But at the end of the winter, I really appreciate these deep red burgundy moody colors. My Andromeda or the um, Japanese Pyrus, look how budded they are. I'm so excited to see these bloom this year. They will have little pink bell-shaped flowers. And I have two varieties. I have the Impish Elf, which is a dwarf variety by Monrovia. That's what this one is here. Stays about three by three, but it might get a little bit bigger with time and age. And this one is called Valley Rose, which is also another uh, pink blooming variety. But these are evergreen shrubs that will bloom in spring. You can see that the buds are starting to swell. Oh. Friends, I am getting so excited about spring and a new gardening season. We're doing some birdhouse maintenance. We discovered that this one, the hole, looks like it's packed oh, with, yeah, um, yeah what, what do you call that stuff? Nesting materials, right? Wait, let me see the camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is completely packed. Look at that. No birds are using that. Okay, you want a stick to clean it? Yeah. I just don't want to get any of this in my face. Yeah, you should probably be wearing goggles. Wow, somebody worked really hard to get all of that in there. So cute. Look at that, it's all like grass clippings. It's in there, good. <laughs> they're hard little workers, look at that. They know what they're doing. Good. Oh. All right, ready for another season. We were so lucky to finally get a nice sunny day. It has been so cold and rainy and windy, but this is a sign that spring is on its way. So I wanna thank King's Yard for sending out those birdhouses and the hummingbird feeder um, to use in our garden. I will go ahead and put links to all of that as well as the promo code in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you're not sure how to grow bare root peonies, um, the ones that I'm giving away, I did actually create a video on growing bare root peonies that I will also link if you wanna reference it. So thank you so much for spending your time with us and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, have you subscribed yet? It's completely free. When you hit the subscribe button, it lets YouTube know that you enjoy my videos so that the next time you come to YouTube, it will recommend some of my videos that you haven't seen before. On my channel, I have a variety of videos from planting to garden tours and even some shopping for plants and all things gardening related. I hope that you'll subscribe and become part of the Hooked and Rooted community. Let's grow together.